Thank you very much, Alan. Uh, yeah, listen, it, no doubt about it, celebrity has its privileges. We don't always expect it to come in the form of a savior like George Lopez, but whatever works, works. Uh, it's also got the downside. Uh, ages ago, people got all freaky about the Miley Cyrus twerking video, and I, I'm not overly interested in it because I'm not overly interested in Miley Cyrus, but what I am interested in is how you reacted to it. And now her new video came out. Take a look at this. Put you high up in the sky. Yeah, yeah, look, Miley Cyrus is making stupid choices, and perhaps there is room for some ridicule, but in actual fact, it is because of the role we play in this. So, I mean, wh wh what do you make of, of the relationship we play in this one? Ed, Ed, what do you think? Do you think that we uh, play a role in this? Uh, well, if we weren't playing a role in it before this panel, we sure are now. Yeah, no kidding. And, you know, talking about it like we're doing some kind of sociological discussion and not participating is like claiming you stopped into a rub and tug to use the phone. <laughs> But no, I mean, do we enable them? Do you think that Absolutely, we do. Yeah. I mean, we're buying books from everyone these days. We're buying books from Demi Lovato, yeah. who's telling us her new book is coming out titled Staying Strong. <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 no. You know who should be writing that book? Yusuf Sai Malala. That's who is staying strong. Right. She was shot in the face. Yes. That's who should be staying strong. Not someone who has a gluten allergy. <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's very brave. She's very brave. She's very, very brave, brave is what I'm trying to say, yes. Elvira Kurt. Well, for, it, it seems like a very lame way to enable because, you know, it, it's, uh, we get all of the rock bottom without any of the epic partying beforehand. It's a very good point, right? right? It's like I show up just in time to be barfed on. <laughs> <laughs> um, for me, it's like that old philosophy mind game, you know, if a tree falls in a forest and no one's around to hear it. Well, can you do it as Bruce Coburn? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I mean, yeah. you're an expert on this. What do you think? I think, I mean, it's, again, like, I, it's the craziness is on our, like, George, for example, I'll use you as an example. When was the last time you pumped your own gas? Last, all the time. Uh, when was the last time you did your own groceries? Two days ago? I did, your I own work, laundry? Dude, I, I work for the CBC. I don't know <laughs> what, you, what you think this is. <laughs> You work for the Not CBC even. and you can afford groceries and gas, yes. all right? <laughs> That's true. You're ahead of the game. That is true. That is true. For, absolutely right. No kidding. Um, but here's what I was wondering. So, so Miley gets a, a ton of heat, and Alec Baldwin generally acts right. like a jack-off. Oh, he's amazing on TV, but yeah. he is, you've heard so many scandals of him. Sure. Awful messages he's left for his own daughter, but people still kind of keep a bit of a distance and go, right. well, that's just Alec Baldwin. Well, to be fair... Alec Baldwin is a man, and we all know that uh, w women make a scene and men make a statement. So that's how I feel. Is it changing? You're missing the whole thing. What's it's that? It's because he's pretty. You think it's because he's it's pretty? It's because he's pretty. Pretty people get away with murder, literally. O.J. walked away from jail after that uh, murder trial. Phil Spector will spend his life behind bars. <laughs> now, there's an illustration. He's got a different haircut. It's all about the haircut. How about the second most famous resident of Stratford, Ontario? The first, obviously, being Peter Mansbridge. Number two, being Justin Bieber. Too late for him? It's too late for Bieber. All right? Once you pee in a restaurant kitchen, what's left? A dump in the drive-thru? I'm sorry, he's well past his best before date. Yeah, I still think there's lots of hope for Bieber. But, but go ahead. The thing about it is that it's also a North American thing. Like, a North American celebrity becomes a world celebrity, and so every movement, every... Everything they do is kind of documented because I'm for sure the Miley Cyrus of Uganda. You are. And <laughs> when I twerked against you, no one, no one cares when I twerk. No one cares when I twerk. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. When I twerk, and I, I can't even get the. Vision. Who are you twerking up against? Uh, everyone. Hey, hey, anyone hey. and everyone. <laughs> You know, I'm going to stop this moment just before it gets super <laughs> inappropriate. Actually, unless we want to continue. But when we come back from the break, what we'll do is find out how we can actually help people stay in the straight and narrow, because it's one thing to comment, right. but it's really important to offer your support, because we're your big toe. We got your back, and that's coming up next. Conversation about celebrities on the program. Okay, it is very easy, and I know lots of shows, and I guess we in some way participated in it as well, talk about what they're doing and why they're doing it and all this stuff. But how can we help, Arthur? I think we should introduce mandatory tasering for all celebrities. Because the thing is, the rest of us, when they're trying to keep us in line, they, they hit us where it hurts us most, Man. the money. You get a speeding ticket, you get a parking ticket. Celebrities have enough money to spend, so we should just taser them. 
Anytime a celebrity does something dumb, the 48 hours, there's a 48 hour window where anyone with a taser can go up to them and legally taser them. Don't do any damage that's permanent. Don't do any damage that's permanent, but let them know that we saw what they did <laughs> and we didn't like it. <laughs> it's an honor to help make the world a better place with you guys. Thank you so much for your time. How about a hand for Arthur Simi and Elvira Curtin? Add the song, everybody. Um, Elvira is hosting Spin Off every Wednesday night at 8 o'clock on CHCA. Arthur Simeon performs October 17th at Toronto's Danforth Music Hall for CBC's Accent on Toronto. And the immortal Ed the Sock, you can follow him on Twitter and YouTube's Ed the Sock Central. Good things, Canada.